Well, now a story about an inspirational Adelaide man whose family came to us for help. When Paul Macon interviewed Johnny Kiriopoulos about his rare spinal tumour recently, no one, including Johnny himself, expected he would be taken so swiftly. Yet his grief-stricken mum and stepdad still wanted us to run his story in the hope they can now help others. Sometimes I feel like I'm still in a nightmare, but it's not happening. It's just been a shock to the whole family. What can I say? It's been a shock. It's a very uncommon condition. It's rare to begin a story about a person's life only to have it end before the story's been told. The cause? Anaplastic astrocytoma. In simple terms... It's a tumour in the spinal cord. Johnny Kiriakopoulos of Walkley Heights knew he was facing a death sentence. Yeah, I just try to be positive. Just 19, he was too young to be dealing with such things. They just told me that you're going to die. There's nothing else to do. Are you ready to, to face death? No. His mum, Vanessa, and stepdad, Peter, also struggled to cope with the fact there was no hope. But what they did hope for was that his life wouldn't just pass away unnoticed. They asked us if we might help. Always running, playing, swimming. Yeah, I was always doing things. I was doing um, motocross. There was also travelling to Greece on a family holiday. And he had dreams of being a tradesman one day. And now? Now nothing. Johnny certainly drew a short straw. The enemy within was rare and deadly. They can't even remove this type of tumour, they said, because it's, it's so abnormal that it will completely paralyse him. Astrocytomas are mostly in the brain. Only 5% end up in the spine. It's supposedly the only case in Australia, even worldwide, supposedly. Um, that's what the doctor told us. Overall, this is a, a very uncommon, if not rare, condition. Director of Neurosurgery at the Royal Melbourne Hospital, Professor Andrew Kay, says despite all the advances in medicine, there is no cure for this type of tumour. The outlook is really very poor. Johnny, where does it stand right now with you? Um, how do I put it? Um, I don't know how to put it. You're going to die? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, they're telling me I'm going to die, that's it. But this young bloke was no quitter. It's a raw vegetable diet, and it's supposed to turn your body alkaline, and cancer can't live in an alkaline environment. While his doctors here in Adelaide recommended surgery and chemo, Johnny didn't want a bar of that. And those treatments don't work. They don't tend to work. And in this case, Professor K agreed. Minimal advantage from surgery, perhaps a marginal advantage from radiotherapy, and there's been no proven advantage from chemotherapy. Vanessa and Peter want to take this opportunity tonight to reach out to others who've been through what Johnny has and what they're going through right now. If there's any other hospitals, if there's any other people that have had to go through this type of cancer. Johnny's story wouldn't be complete without mentioning the girl who's been constantly by his side. I know a lot of people that ended up in a wheelchair not because of cancer, but they've left. Their girlfriends have left them. You know, I've, I've always brought up better than that, you know. I think it's wrong when people do that. Bethany lost her mother to breast cancer just under a year ago. And Johnny supported her through the ordeal. And as they say, one good turn. If, yeah, it happened to me, I'd expect him to stick around. On Monday night, Johnny lost his fight. But Vanessa and Peter have already started the ball rolling on fundraising in honour of their son and in the hope his life will leave a legacy for others. Hopefully we can donate this money to organisations or doctors who can find out more about research, research about this rare cancer. Very brave indeed. Now, if you go to our website, todaytonightadelaide.com.au, you'll find the link to Johnny's brother's Facebook page where a walk for spinal cord cancer research is being planned. They're aiming to raise $100,000. There's also a phone number to call if you want to help in any way.